The SWAC championship will be a rematch between Coach Dooley and Coach Prime. Remember last year, Coach Dooley and PV played Coach Prime and Jack State in the SWAC championship in which PV came up a bit short in that game. And already, Coach Prime and the Jack State Tigers have already played against Southern and Coach Dooley in which Jackson State walked out of there with a 35 to nothing win. So this is going to be round number three between Coach Prime and Coach Dooley. And we already know we can expect some great things to come out this game because you got two stingy defenses as well as an offense that can come out there and put points up on the board just as quick as you can bat your eyes. And not to mention Southern University offense ain't too bad as well. But we're going to talk about exactly how that game going to break down right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, I'm about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in the free to tell them to come on in. It's number no positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and tap on in this thing and get straight to it. Because I'm like, Coach, who you got in this thing? Well, listen, 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 listen. Let me break this down to you. But first, before I get started, um, I want to send prayers and condolences to uh, one of my old, one of my former players that was uh, killed uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, they'll be burying that young man <clears throat> today. I went and uh, viewed his body last night, and um, it's definitely a, a, a trying experience on coach right now. Uh, <clears throat> I taught them young men how to how to tie ties. If you follow me on Facebook. I got a picture of the team at the uh, banquet where uh, all of them had matching ties. So uh, if you want to check that out, matter of fact, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just gonna drop the photo right here. Uh, it's the young man, up, the young man up at the top, the second one up uh, on the top row, uh, for, on the uh, left hand. It should be on your left hand side. Um, 18 years old, man, gone too soon. We got to stop the violence. It's time to put down the guns. It's time for us to think before we pull that trigger. Because this ain't like the video game where you get another man and he comes back and you get to start all over again and try to, you know, get through the game and, and win the game or whatever have you. This is life. Once you decide you want to pull that trigger and that gun go bang and it hits somebody, if it hit the wrong artery or hit a different place on that person's body, they don't come back. And this young man, 18 years old, gone too soon. But enough with that. Let's get let's get into this. Coach Coach got to get his mind back right. Let's let's let's, let's get into this right now. You can't forget in week eight there was several delays in the game, in which Southern University and Jack State was out there trying to get that thing going on. In the end, Jack State won that game thirty five to nothing. Both teams played three more games, and now it's time to settle the score to see who's going to move on the Celebration Bowl championship against North Carolina Central. Southern's best offense is going to be their defense in this game. Finding a way to turn Jack State over to give their team multiple opportunities to put points up on the board. Four times during this season, Sean McCray has thrown the ball for over anywhere from 130 yards to 200 plus yards in a game. Trust and believe Coach Dooley is going to try to find a way to get that offense rolling with that passing game. They're going to do something a little different to open things up for them to be able to to run the ball no matter what they're looking to do against that Jack State defensive front. Now, I know a lot of you out there saying, Coach, ain't no way in the world Coach Dooley going to change up his daggone playbook. He's going to stay true and blue to what he's been doing all season long. And I respectfully understand that. But you got to understand one thing as well. If Jackson State gets out early on Southern University in this game, Southern University is going to be put in a position where they're going to have to throw the ball. I honestly believe early and often Coach is going to be looking to try to throw some flare passes out there to the running backs or run them bubble screens to the receivers or the running back to try to loosen some things up on that Jack State defense that's going to allow them to do some things on the Southern University side offense that will kind of, you know, hopefully they can kind of confuse Jack State just a little bit to continue to keep moving the ball down the field and staying ahead of those chains. Now, we would definitely see in this game the running backs for uh, Southern University – Gerard Sims, Carl Ligon, 
and Bashan McCray himself, the quarterback, they're gonna run this, they're gonna run this ball in this game. We already see, we already know Bashan McCray is probably nine times out of ten gonna end up being the leading rusher on the team in this game because we've seen it happen like this all season long. And definitely, you're gonna definitely when I say that passing game is gonna pop off, you're gonna look for none other than that's just Allen August Petrie the third who's going to be looking to make their presence felt out there on the field against those Jack State defenders. You know, people are thinking that they can get out there and try those corners for Jackson State, be it Nugget on one side and Travis Hunter on the other side or whomever coach have out there at that time. They're going to try to go after them to see if they can find a way to unlock the code to beat them with pass plays. And trust and believe, Jackson State defense, their corners are going to be up for the for the challenge to make sure that they shut things down and let Southern know. find another way to win this game against us this stag on Saturday in this championship game because they're not looking to lay down and just roll over and give the game to Southern. Southern, if they want to come in there and win their game, they're going to have to knock. They're going to have to knock Jackson State out, and I mean knock them out cold. So I hope Coach Dooley got some different plays in that playbook that he's going to come out there with that nobody has seen all season long to try to catch Jackson State off guard. Let's not forget, Southern averaged anywhere from 21 to 24 points against SWAT teams this season. Now, I know a lot of y'all talk about, wait a minute, Coach. They average more points than that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't calculate the points that they scored against Virginia Union, Lynchburg, and all those other teams. I looked at just SWAT play, and that's why I got to between 21 and 24. So I just want everybody to understand that. Now, Jack State definitely is going to look to come out there and establish the run game early, giving that ball to Savion Wilkerson as well as Santi Marshall, just letting him go to work against that Southern University defensive front. Now, Jack State offensive line is going to come out there and really get after this game because you know what? Not that bad man over there, Jason Dumas, is going to be looking to clog up them holes and shut some things down on that against that center or whomever it is that he lines up against, against in this game because he knows what's on the line and he's been here before. That was not a sweet taste he had in his mouth last year when they lost that game to Jackson State in the SWAT championship. So I'm going to say this one more time. Jackson State offensive line, y'all got to come out there and get after it. Start fast, start quick. Punch them in the mouth and get this thing rolling. If you don't do it, guess what? They're going to throw that haymaker and catch you slipping. So I know right now it's time to focus in and get things ready to go because there's a lot on the line this week. It's not like, hey, you lose this game and you get to play another one. It ain't going to happen that way. You got to come out there ready to get this game. If Jackson looked at the film to see where they, where can they attack Jackson State at on their offensive line, that's going to be able, that's going to allow them to create havoc for them to get back there and disrupt the plays in the backfield, getting that QB one should do a Sanders touching them up a little more often than what they were able to do in game one. So you already know everybody's going to be on their A game as far as with making sure they sustain their blocks and do everything that's required of them on that line of scrimmage. Now, QB one should do a Sanders. He's already going to be sharp. And I believe he's going to be sharp in this game, ready to get after it and put them points up quick, fast, and often with those receivers for the Jack State Tigers football team. None other than Shane Hooks, Wideman. You got Dallas Daniels. You got Travis Hunter. You got Kevin Coleman. And all of the other receivers that that's going to come into this game, they're going to be looking to get out there to put their best foot forward, to get them chains moving, get them points on the board, get this W, and repeat as SWAC champions to go play North Carolina Central in this uh, play North Carolina Central in the celebration. Jackson Bowl. State cannot afford to turn the ball over in this game, allowing Southern to have multiple opportunities. Secure the ball at all times. Uh, receivers, secure the ball when you're going down, going down on the ground. If you can't get any more yards after you've caught the ball, just go down. There's no need you trying to stiff arm nobody, trying to do something to get loose. Because guess what? All they're gonna do is come back, come up underneath you, knock the ball loose, and that's gonna give their team an opportunity to get that ball and have more opportunities to put points on the board so again i believe both teams are going to come out swinging in this game looking to try to see who can stymie the other one the fastest and put them points up on the board looking to get ahead so that they can have the other team playing from behind but one thing i'll say is this the jack state defense hey listen they weren't the number one defense in the country for nothing those young men didn't allow i believe anywhere for what 8.5 to 10 points per per game average through the whole season so you already know they're going to be looking to try to shut Southern down once again like they did in game number like one. Coach, ain't no way in the world it's going to happen. Well, remember, the Jack State defense got some ballers up front as well and none other than Travis Hunter. No, 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 no. <laughs> remember one thing. The Jack State 
Defense is going to be led by none other than Mr. Arbor Miller out there on the field. You're going to have Cam. You're going to have Travis Hunter. You're going to have Niles Gaddy. You're going to have Mr. Reagan. You're going to have Mr. Griffiths. You're going to have Mr. Thompson. And you know what? They're going to be looking to get this job done. They're not looking to just stand pat and say, okay, hey, look, we, we ran the swag. We ran undefeated in the swag. We good to go. No, they're looking to go ahead and finish the drill. So we're going to see some, some things happen in this game in which people are going to show up and show out. We already know there's going to be some stars out there in this game. Will you be one of them? Will you be that guy that's going to help your team make a play when a play is needed in order for you guys to capture this W that's going to put you in position to go play in the Celebration Bowl? Look, I already know this is going to be a great game this weekend in Jackson, Mississippi. Everybody's going to be out there having a great time, just enjoying the atmosphere as well as everything that's going to happen with this game. I want you to leave your predictions down below. Let me know who you got winning this game and what score. Hey, guys, I appreciate every last one of you guys for rocking with me all season long. As far as the content that I've been dropping, we ain't done. We got more coming. Like I said, Coach is bringing out some new stuff for you guys to see the different directions that we will go with this channel. But I appreciate every last one of you for rocking with me. But until next time, be the one and lead.